This t-shirt draft formula is for basic t-shirts that can be adapted for any sizes. First, fold your fabric lengthwise and fold it again to get double layer on fold. Decide your t-shirt size by either measuring yourself or existing t-shirts that fit well.
Now is a good time for embellishing your t-shirt. I stenciled my t-shirts as I just love stenciling ever since my childhood and I am always looking for opportunities to stencil on anything. You could embroider, bedazzle, or transfer photos. There are many ways you can embellish your t-shirts. And it's easier to do it when pieces are not sewn together. But remember to keep the handling to minimum and try not to stretch out cut edges. I usually use a quarter inch clear elastic to stabilize the shoulder seam, but I just couldn't find my clear elastic this time, so I used strips cut out from savage edges, or you could fuse strips of fusible interfacing to the shoulder seams instead. When I tried the t-shirt on, the neckband had too much puckering. When I was editing the video, I noticed that I made a mistake and cut the neckband one inch shorter. That probably caused the puckering. Also, I thought the wider neckline would look better on myself. So I decided to cut off all the serger seam. And I remeasured the neckline a quarter inch inside the cut edges to make a new neckband. On this t-shirt, the fabric didn't have enough stretch to go over my kid's head. So I decided to replace it with a neckband made with rib knit. I cut off the existing neckband the same way and also I lowered the front neckline a little. I remeasured the neckline the same way 
and made the new neckband using the same technique. Using rib knit for the neckband is a great option, especially when your main fabric doesn't have a lot of stretch. I ended up using 2 inch wide strips for all my neck bands. After sewing with quarter inch seam allowances and stretching it to fit the neckline, the neck bands came out to be about 5 eighths of an inch width. I think the width of the band looked great with crew neck styles. If you want a wide neckline for women's t-shirts, you might want to experiment with narrower neck bands. On this pink t-shirt, I shaped the side seams a little to make it a closer fit. I just really love how this one came out. I love this elephant stencil. The white neckband was added for a functional reason, but I think it actually looks better this way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was somewhat helpful. I'd really appreciate it if you could take your time to hit a like button. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you like sewing and DIY contents like this.